Welcome to Das Geek. So I was talking with my patrons and I asked them, what two-factor authentication tool do you utilize? Now, I expected to get some Google authentication as the main authenticator that they utilize for their mobile device, maybe some YubiKeys and some other things out there. But for the most part, almost everybody was Google Authenticator or a tool called Authy. Now, Authy is an interesting one, which I'll get into in a moment but I wanted to bring to the attention of everyone free OTP. So this is an open source alternative for two-factor authentication that works on iOS. You can download it from GitHub, works on Google Play, works on F-Droid, so you can get it on all the major platforms. And this tool, as you can see here, is officially sponsored and published by Red Hat. So we all know Red Hat, very big name in the open source community there a lot of trust uh, brought to that company. And because the code itself is out there on GitHub, that brings a level of security out there where people can look at the code and make sure what it says it's doing, it's doing. Uh, for those who don't use two-factor authentication, I turn it on for everything. It is not foolproof, meaning yes, there are things that people can do to attempt to get your access codes, to hack into them, to um, spoof your phone. There are all kinds of things that people can do to work around two-factor authentication. But an app-based 2FA is much more secure than not having any two-factor authentication. And one of the main reasons for that is it requires two things. You have to have your password to authenticate in, and you have to have this generated code that this device creates, your two-factor authentication app creates in order to log into an account like an email, bank, or anywhere that allows two-factor authentication, I turn it on. Now, the other option out there a lot of people use is Authy. So for me, it's about following the money trail. How does Authy make money off of this? Well, according to this article, it states that Authy makes a suite of other applications for enterprise business that they utilize this app to allow those businesses to access as a two-factor authentication additional security step. And that's why they provide it for free because Authy has a feature that a lot of these other ones don't, which is cloud backup. With that, you have to keep in mind that having a cloud backup, no matter how secure and good the team at Authy is, does add a situation in which somebody could spoof your device and be able to, or potentially hack into the cloud backup and be able to have access to your two-factor authentication codes. Not very likely, it's a possibility. It just adds another attack vector that you're not gonna have with something that keeps all the authentication codes locally here. So that's why I recommend free OTP to utilize instead of utilizing Google Authenticator or any of the other authenticators out there because it's free, it's open source, and it's backed by a very trusted company, Red Hat, out there. So for those who may have never used two-factor authentication, just really quick, you're gonna see a, you're gonna go into your account, say you're using Dropbox or an email client like Gmail, ProtonMail, and under settings, there will be an option to enable two-factor authentication. I kind of brought one up here to show you what it looks like on Pia. So you hit the QR code scanner at the top, you scan the QR code, it's going to automatically add from that QR code the metadata of what the service is for. You're gonna click on it, you're gonna put that code in because it'll ask you to confirm the two-factor authentication before it enables it on your account. And then every time you log in the account, it's gonna ask you for a password and it's gonna ask you for this code. There are certain uh, accounts that are out there that allow you to basically set, hey, this is my trusted device, don't ask me for a code every time, and generally every 30 days or so, um, it will ask you for the code. Now that's not the most secure way to do it, but we do have a convenience factor in there. If you have a computer you're sure people can't get into, then you have that option to check that box as well, which can make it easier. So free OTP is my pick for two-factor authenticator. I've utilized it for months now, absolutely love it, works perfectly, all my accounts are on it. Obviously I utilize this phone only um, for demo purposes, so it doesn't have all of my accounts on it. Um, but wanted to show you how all of this works in case you're not using two-factor authentication or in case you're using a two-factor authentication option uh, other than a free and open source one. So leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. And until next time, get out there and fill your brains. Don't get too small. Don't get